Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. A friend of the channel was asking me about driving one of these Max 7219 LED matrix displays with an Arduino Uno. It piqued my interest. I also just received the M5 Stamp Pico DIY kit, including this ESP32 downloader. Let's give this tiny M5 Stamp a big display. So my friend bought me a few coffees to get me to work out how to use these Mac 7219 LED matrix displays. I was just finishing my previous video project, but I was curious. It seemed when I searched the internet for Mac 7219, there are a lot of references to the seven digit eight segment displays. I knew that was not what I wanted. Finally, I found this LED matrix driver library in Arduino library manager that looked like exactly what I needed. Kudos to Bartos Bielowski, LED matrix driver on GitHub. I found this wiring diagram here and had the four segment panel wired to my Arduino Uno in a matter of minutes. Look for all the links in the description below. I was getting excited. Could it be this easy to do something new? I loaded the first example sketch in the LED matrix driver library the AFGFX marquee. This sketch requires the AF buffer library, but I got hung up on an error concerning an include file C standard int not found. I was searching around to resolve this and it seemed like a dead end. I was almost ready to quit for the day when I saw another example sketch in the LED matrix driver library called marquee text. And it looks pretty straightforward. You just need to set the CS pin number in the sketch to match the pin you wired the CS on the Max 7219 LED matrix display. All right, this marquee text sketch works fine on an Arduino Uno. But can I make it work with this cool little M5 stamp Pico from M5 Stack? In my first M5 stamp video, I didn't have the ESP32 downloader, so I showed how to use a 5 volt FTDI board to program the M5 stamp. We lit up the onboard RGB LED with the colors of the rainbow and printed Hello World on the M5 stack OLED unit. This was all using UI Flow to program M5 stamp. In today's video, we're setting out in a new direction using the Arduino IDE to program the M5 stamp to light up this Max 7219 LED matrix display. Make sure you have the M5 stack board definition URL in File, Preferences, Additional Board Manager URLs. Also, in Tools, Board Manager, make sure you have the latest version of the M5 stack board support installed. Now you can select the M5 stamp in Tools Board Manager. Go back to Tools and select the correct Serial or COM port. I got this two pack of Max 7219 LED matrix displays. What's cool about these is that you can daisy chain them from one to many if you wish. The pins line up from one unit to the other. I found this angled male to female pin combination. These are six pins wide, so I'm just clipping off the sixth pin. Make sure to line the five pins up correctly before soldering them. I'm looking at the Arduino sketch trying to figure out the wiring. This is SPI. We can change the CS pin in the sketch, but how do I define the MOSI and SCK pins to match the pin numbers on the M5 stamp? The comment in the sketch says Arduino specific SPI pins. On a whim, I just go ahead and wire the M5 stamp to the Max 7219 using the M5 stamps pins as they are marked for SPI. Let's look at the wiring diagram. On the right side of the M5 stamp, the M5 stack ESP32 downloader is a pin for pin match with the M5 stamp. Cool. 
On the left side of the M5 stamp, ground on the M5 stamp goes to ground on the MAX 7219. The 5 volt pin on the M5 stamp goes to VCC on the MAX 7219. Pin 19 or CS on the M5 stamp goes to CS on the MAX 7219. Pin 18 or SCK on the M5 stamp goes to CLK on the MAX 7219. And pin 26 or MOSI on the M5 stamp goes to DN on the MAX 7219. The only thing I can see to update in the sketch is the declaration of the LED matrix CS pin. Let's set this to 19. Make sure the LED matrix segments matches the number of MAX 7219 segments you have physically attached. In my case, it's eight segments. We upload this, and wow! It is actually this easy to hook the M5 stamp to these MAX 7219 LED matrix displays. Now, the tiny M5 stamp has a really big display. The font is in the sketch, and there's a link in the sketch comments to an online tool where you can build your own fonts or sprites. I also tried the other example sketches in the LED matrix driver library. Set pixel, draw sprites, and frame buffer scrolling. These all work as long as you set the LED matrix CS pin to 19 in the sketch before you upload. Okay, this was pleasantly easy to hook the M5 stamp to the MAX 7219 LED matrix display using this LED matrix driver library. Leave a comment below on what you're inspired to do next with M5 stamp or the MAX 7219 LED matrix display. Give this video a like. And before you go on to watch more of my M5 stack videos, click on subscribe. Thank you very much.